During the Second World War, the UK built many different lorries and trucks for various purposes and roles, including fire tenders, field trucks, artillery tractors, mobile command centres, general haulage and recovery. One of the producers of British Army lorries and trucks was AEC, or the Associated Engineering Company. They produced a variant of artillery tractor known as the Matador, a two-axle 4x4 truck. It was this vehicle that formed the main predecessor for the AEC Militant. The Matador entered service in 1939 and saw out the Second World War as the main transport for the 5.5 inch artillery piece. Naturally the war ended. The British Army wanted a more powerful, larger and more comfortable artillery tractor. AEC designed the Militant as the direct replacement of the Matador. Unlike the dependable Matador, the Militant was a six-wheeled 6x4 vehicle. The Militant's first variant was suitably designated as the Mark I. Noticeably, the Militant differed greatly from the Matador as it had a rounded steel framed cab as opposed to the Matador's boxy wooden cab. The Mark I Militant had an 11 litre six cylinder diesel engine capable of 150 brake horsepower and in turn could propel the 11 ton Militant along at 25 miles per hour. And for us metric users, that's 40 kilometers per hour. Although many who have driven the Militant report that it, is, that it was extremely difficult to steer at low speeds, requiring great effort, however reported that its cross-country performance was good. The Militant was seldom used for its original intended purpose, as after the Second World War, instead of developing heavier artillery guns, the British Army pursued more advanced missile and rocket systems. Although, the Militants were never short of work with a multitude of different role-serving variants being produced. These included general cargo carriage, tipper, fuel tanker, radio, and notably recovery and crane variant. The Mark III variant of the Militant was requested, and AEC obliged. They gave it a significant engine boost, upgrading it to a 12-litre, six-cylinder, 226 horsepower engine with a six-speed gearbox, and was now able to scuttle about at 36 miles per hour. Due to the Mark I's significant steering issue, that being it was tremendously hard to steer, the Mark III gave the benefit of power steering, with a hydraulic booster and better steering mechanism. The Mark III was also upgraded to 6x6, rather than the 6x4 arrangement in the Mark I. Most variants were fitted with a chassis mounted winch that was driven through the gearbox. This winch, which was intended for manoeuvring the towed field gun and for self-recovery of the vehicle. The winch proved extremely strong and reliable. Impressively, the militant served for a very long time, the many variants undertaking several key roles within the British Army. Some were even sold off into civilian hands during the 1970s and were used extensively as tow trucks and recovery vehicles. The Mark I militants gave up to 33 years in service from 1952 to 1985, and the later variant Mark III's were seen in the British Army up until 1990. They were powerful, reliable, and large machines, favoured for their versatility in different roles and recovery capabilities. Again, thank you for watching this video. Another one might be following shortly after, so stay tuned. Anyway. Please like this video, as hopefully you enjoyed the information brought to you, and if agreeable, subscribe.